Well, hello Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. See what we got for you today, Libra. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> they flipped and fell in my lap. Here with the star cards. Oh, wow. Whatever you guys are wanting as far as a wish, a wish fulfillment, that's in your first placement. It's saying you're going to get it. Here with the death card. This is transformation. Transforming. Things have ended, but new beautiful things are about to begin. Okay. Wow. This is really good. King of Swords. So it looks like maybe something had ended before because someone was being very standoffish, very cold, very detached. This person may have this. It looks like this person have had some type of enlightenment here. Yeah, they've been meditating on you. They've been feeling um, it's some type of you guys have not been talking. So it's just been a lot of mystery surrounding both of you guys, really. Um, but this person, I'm telling you, something ended between you and someone because of their attitude. And if, like, this is like the biggest mistake of my life. That's what this person is thinking. This person may actually write to you and tell you that or whatever. Here with the Seven of Cups. You guys have a lot of opportunities that's coming towards you. I do feel like some of you guys may be confused about some things. Yeah, there's been some confusion in this connection, maybe misunderstandings. Let's go ahead and get some more cards. Why is the cards flopping out like that? I'm just so confused. The devil, someone is addicted to you or you're addicted to someone or you guys are addicted to each other because this, this connection is really strong. See, the thing is, you may have cut someone off. Someone may have cut you off. It doesn't matter. Like at this point, it does seem like there was like a detachment. Okay. You could have just said, I'm not going to deal with that anymore just because they weren't like, um, like they didn't seem like they were invested. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, someone has had an epiphany. Now, I don't know why, but I feel it. And there's this very strong connection here. This person cannot stop thinking about you. They hate the fact that it was over with. It was done. I think they were more so running away from the truth. They felt it and it scared them. That's what I really do believe. Let's get some more cards. I believe this emotion scared your person. Yeah, your person is stuck. Your person is feeling stuck. Oh, yeah, they're going to take action, though, because here's the king. We got two kings, king of swords and the king of wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with two different people, but I feel like this is the same person. This person was very detached and cold. Now, all of a sudden, they're like, this is icy. This is red hot. <laughs> now, why would that happen? Ace of Pentacles, someone is about to take a huge opportunity. You're going to have a huge opportunity here. This person realized what they did. They were trying to get the upper hand in this. And I don't think that they knew that they were going to be feeling as salty as they're feeling. Oof. Because that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing some salty energy here. Here with the nine of swords. Someone is feeling bad. Okay, so it looks like before this connection, this it looks like it was disconnected because there were other people hanging around. Okay. Um... But I really do feel like this person in general is wanting to come back in because they were icy. Now they're red hot. They cannot let you go. You're, they're feeling stuck over you. Mm -hmm. And there's some sadness here with this moon card. Isolated and lonely feelings. Some of this could be coming from you. Yeah, but you got that star there. You're going to have love coming in. It doesn't matter who it's from. Basically, it doesn't matter... Who it's from, de depending on you. So if you want past, it'll be past because that is your wish. If you want new, it'll be new because it's your wish. Okay. Speaking of wish, wish, let's go ahead and get that star card. Let's get it and see what this is all about. So you guys want commitment. 
And that's what you guys are going to have, a traditional relationship. And I don't think that it's just you. I believe this is someone else. They want to work something out. Your wish is to be in a committal relationship, a long-term committed relationship with someone, and you're going to get it. That's why I said it doesn't matter. You know, individually, I don't care who you guys get married to, but it's going to happen, okay, for a lot of you. Let's get the death card. So you became single, good looking, right? Ooh, some of you guys had a transformation body-wise too. Mm -hmm. But someone is going to come in and give you something. They're like, listen, take it. You can take everything, everything. Just be mine. <laughs> they want success. And you guys are moving on in success too. A lot of you guys are meeting new people and you're very optimistic about it. It's like, listen, something didn't work out. It's okay. I'm moving on and I'm single. I'm good looking. I can get whatever I want and it's true. But I feel like someone is still stuck on you, though. Let's go ahead and get this King of Swords. Oh, yeah. Told you. I already knew that. I could feel it. This person is slow as hell with coming back to you. But they are. And they're trying to plan, trying to figure out a plan. This person is hurt. It's like, but what took them so long to figure out that, that this wasn't right? Like, not being with you wasn't it. I don't know if they were, like I said, I feel like they were dealing with other people. But, like, what took so long for them to figure it out? Because this person is really hurt. And I feel like there may have been another connection with another person. And I'm not saying that they're coming towards you because it ended. But I feel like the other person was keeping them, like, occupied so they won't feel something for you. That's what I feel. Let's get the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. A lot of opportunities with money here. Making money. A lot of opportunities with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person is choosing you to be the, their number one, though. That's what this means. Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is long-term committed relationship, and they're going to be very happy. They're choosing wisely. Okay? Let's get the Devil. A lot of people, a lot of people are getting married and proposed to this year. The devil. And if it's not this year, it'll be next year. This person is completely horrified over the fact that they lost you. Horrified. Their behavior, they're, they're sad about their behavior. They keep thinking about what they, what they did. Like, oh man, how did I let them go? Like, how did this happen? This person is feeling horrible here. Let's get the Eight of Swords. And they, they are, they're feeling stuck. They don't know what to do. You see them coming in. And this is the reason why they're taking so, so, so long. Like they're sulking. But then at the same time, there's fear and a little pride. Like they have to come back to you with their tail between their legs. But they're going to make it work. They're stuck. But this is going to, they're going to make it happen here. Someone is going to make something happen now. And this is at the bottom. I was about to say, if this is someone new, this is definitely someone from the past. Just got to tell you. Um, now, of course, this does have new in it because we saw the Ace of Cups. OK, so this is a judgment call for you to move on. You have whatever you need to make whoever happy and it is going to work. Be optimistic. But there is going to be a new love in your life. But this is this is past energy here, guys. King of Wands. Icy hot. This person is icy hot and they're so conflicted. They're like, listen, if I have to fight for you, I'm going to. Like they, they're trying to fight their feelings and emotions. Like I said, it's a lot of confusion and conflicted energy here. And it was because of what they did. They don't understand why they were so cold and now they're so hot on you. And it was they were running away from the truth. They should have just faced the fact that in, in the beginning when they were dealing with you, that they really they were really in love. This is part of what's going on with this moon card. They're hiding their feelings and they can't hide it any longer. Let's get the nine of swords. Oh, yeah. Oh, they couldn't figure out what they wanted to do. Look at this. The truth of the matter was they just they could not figure it out. And now they're stressed. Another reason why they're stressed is because they don't know if they should approach, but they're still hurting. This is hurting them. 
This is hurting them and they cannot let you go. So this is the reason why they're approaching. Yep, to heal this connection. Now this could be someone that you've been knowing for a long time. This could be could have been a marriage, long-term community relationship. You guys could have already been married, but married, but this person is going to try to resolve this issue. They are severely depressed for what they've done and, so, and sorry for what they've done. So yeah, this is what I'm seeing, Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you're new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here soon. Bye.